Hello and welcome. My name is Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. And uh, the question that I uh, want to answer today is what if I'm an immigrant and what if I need public assistance? All right, there's been a lot of changes in public charge law right now or in the regulations right now. And, uh, and what they're saying is that if you've had a certain amount of public assistance, all right, then they will find you to be a quote unquote public charge um, and, um, and it can cause a problem, it can make you inadmissible uh, for a immigration benefit or for a green card, all right? So the way it works is that if somebody has 12 months of public assistance in a 36 month period, then they will be fat, it will be a highly negative factor all right, against you in your case. It doesn't automatically mean your case is gonna be denied, but it's gonna be a factor against you, all right? And the truth is, is that they're asking for proof of all of this stuff, and so if you use public assistance for any reason, it will count against you and it will be evaluated in the, they do a totality of the circumstances, they call it, test to see whether or not you're gonna be a public charge. And so here's the truth. If you need public assistance, go use public assistance, right? If you need it, use it. I mean, that's what public assistance is there for, right? If you're eligible, don't use it if you're not eligible for it. But if you need public assistance and you're eligible for public assistance, go use the public assistance, all right? The issue is, is you've gotta know that it might cause an effect on your immigration case. All right, it might cause an effect on your immigration case. So you're gonna wanna talk to your immigration lawyer, and I recommend talking to an immigration lawyer before going through the process of applying for public benefits. Don't get public benefits if it just sounds really nice to have a little bit of extra cash on hand. You only use it if you really, really need it. Like if there's a temporary situation where you really can't, get housing in any other way, or you really need the, the cash, cash aid, right? Um, I mean, that is what public assistance is for, all right? And so if you need it, use it, but talk to your immigration lawyer first so that we can give you good advice as to what the consequences might be of using it, or so that we can have a good plan in place where you're not gonna depend on public assistance for the long term, and we don't want you to be on it for 12 months because that will really make you inadmissible for a 36 month period, all right? So I hope this was helpful. My, my purpose of this is to say, hey look, if you need the assistance and if you're eligible for it, have at it, go for it, all right? I'm not here to like disempower anyone from doing what they need to do, all right? But there's consequences and I want you to be fully informed of the consequences and that's why lawyers like myself exist. So call us, all right, and let's get you the information you need so that you can make a fully informed decision because you don't want to, you know, just get some public assistance temporarily and then have it screw over your green card case. Like, that's a mistake. You don't want to do that. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching this. I'm Otis Landerholm, Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. Thank you.